Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to be working on one of these sails. I've already got this one put together, but we're working on putting another one together. Right now I'm sanding all these individual pieces on the bench, of course, because uh, after it's put together, it's way too much work to sand. Or it's difficult to sand. Okay. Okay, here we're going to be sanding some sticks. What I do is usually just drag the ends and turn them, put a little chamfer on them, both ends. Makes it easier when you're driving in the square hole to find a spot to go in. Then I take off the edges. them. Uh, we're gonna just have a couple more. Alright, uh, next we'll be sanding these here to tie in all these once they go uh, vertical. So you see there's one on the front, two on the back. So we'll just sand them up before we start cleaning the other one up and putting it together. So here again, we sand the edges, take the edges off, that way when you go to paint it, it holds the paint, otherwise it doesn't hold the paint very good. So it's best to sand it nice, around the corners or the edges a bit, and we're good to go. And the wood we're using here is redwood. And you say, yeah, redwood's pretty hard to get. Yes it is, but Back in the 90s, I built a garden swing, and this is recycled wood. I took the garden swing down last year, and I'm reusing the wood. Okay, here we're just adding some water to this pipe, and what I do, I soften the fibers in the wood by submersing them in the hot water. I've got these two clamps here, either side of the pipe, just so the pipe won't fall over. I don't know, I think that's happened before. So this is just safety. And it's nice to wash down the floor once in a while, but we're not doing it with this hot water. Just add the sticks. That'll keep it from falling over. This is a stick I'll be using a little later. Use that for pounding the nails in. Just some backer. Now, I should clean these out. Now the motor sir does a pretty nice job, but there's always a little left in the bottom that I like to clean out. Okay, after we got all the holes cleared out, we start putting all these pegs in. As you can see, we've got quite a bend in there. Once we put the slats on it, it'll be a nice curve. Like the one you can see here. Curve on it. It's a nice curve. And that'll really help pitch the wind. So the next thing we gotta do on it. So as you can see we got <coughs> one on the 
front and then two on the back. cheater block in here helps you do the spacing. It's not bad, it helps considerably because you try to eyeball it and after a while you're seeing a thing sideways and once you get it all nailed together you can see it's off. Then it's a little too late. Okay, we got the tips uh, to cut off now. We got all this banding on both sides. So now we've marked it. Now I trim off all these tips. That way you get all even instead of wavy. Some go a little deeper than others. And it doesn't matter how well you set up your mortiser. It always seems to be a little bit of difference. So after I put it all together, I prefer to cut tips off last and that will be it. We'll cut those tips off, just sand the tips a little bit after they're cut off and we're good to, to go. Okay, here we got <coughs> the sail. It's uh, completed as far as the building goes. Now we're just going to prime it all up. We got this one primed, the other one needs to be primed yet. But so far I got the uh, like tan color on both of these and this is going to be a rust color so it'll look pretty good once it's all done thank you for watching <laughs>